I see winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles, the sky lit aglow. Summer burns, air fiery as a... The totem stands dormant. The totem stares ahead. The totem stares ahead.
Marcus. Our shield has gone mad. I see you, but you, you shall be. You are not worthy of the trial. I see you. Winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles, the sky lit aglow. Summer burns, air fiery as a hearth. Spring quenches with bloody rebirth. The totem stands dormant. A deep voice rises from within the totem. Summer, fierce and unyielding. May we cast the power of the sun against those who bring violence. The sun gives life to our trees, but burns their flesh. I see you. Winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles, the sky lit aglow. Summer burns, air fiery as a heart. Spring quench... The totem stares ahead. Ah! Has it turned on us or just lost its mind? The totem stares ahead silently. I see you. Winter shudders with ice and snow. Autumn rumbles, 
the sky lit aglow. Summer burns, air fiery as a heart. Wars are brewing, my friend, and we may... <laughs> Buying or selling? Capital. Good luck to you. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? Back for a return visit, are you? Have at it. Got you yourself situated. Never forget it. Keeping it together, Bree. I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Then don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? How you holding up? Not in any mood to talk about it. Yep, yep. I can turn aside. Glad to see you well. Anything more? Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. They don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know?
more than he used. Nothing good. The void woken are everywhere. Thank the divine you're here to protect us. I... I... Uh, yes, yes, of course. Don't monster me, I... Until later, then. There's a lot of coal for the junk you sell, Ben. Keeping it together, Bree. Junk? Why, I offer nothing less than... I'm all right, as long as I don't think about it too much. You're safe among friends. Never forget it. The Lord helping of hand. What? looks unfinished. Was it never used?
We will be the scorching lightning, the searing pain forever. Old old thing, isn't it? The Great Forge is black with a sort of ancient work. Inside is a casting for an ornate handle flecked with glittering bits of silver.
The Great Forge is black. Nice, I guess. Wonder what makes it useful. The spirit of a man in priestly robes drifts from corpse to corpse, head bowed. He murmurs blessings over each of them. Merciful Seven, smile upon your fallen servants. Brother Ashwell, Brother Triskel, Sister Revria, usher them forth to the Hall of Echoes. He notices your presence. Sorcerer, this island is nothing but death. You should leave. I am well versed in such things. I, my brothers and sisters, study the wondrous, the arcane, the malignant. Easier to fight evil forces when you understand them. Corrupt things have long stalked the fringes of our world. Demons. Here we sought to help those who fell prey to the foul creatures. He casts another rueful look over the mounds of dead. No more. The spirit utters a sigh. Even after having parted from his body, he retains a heavy heart. This island was once a place of learning, of healing. We were Rivalon's sword and shield against the demons who preyed upon the weak. One of our number, a doctor, brought an invalid before us. An elven maiden who had become infested with some presence. It was powerful. Too powerful. So we sealed it and the poor elf it inhabited in our deepest vaults. Sometimes incarceration was the best we could muster in such dire cases. But the doctor who found her was determined to make a name for himself. He attempted a cleansing ritual, but he only served to strengthen the demon's grasp over the elf. The demon possessed him. Soon the whole island was overrun with monstrosities and bathed in blood. Our blood. It's a corrupt place now. The statues guard the vaults where we kept those who were beyond help. No ritual could cleanse them of the dark forces that infested them, so we sealed them away. We did not use such cruelty lightly. There was no other choice. The statues guard the path. They will grant passage to those who sing from the hymn book, from the archives. Tangled amongst the mounds of corpses are glimpses of fractured spectral forms, pleading eyes, grasping hands, wailing mouths. A chorus of cries and moans coalesce into a single mournful voice. You live. We hear your heartbeat. We feel your breath. Come closer. Why have you come here? This island is nothing but pain and blood. We cannot help you with such things. We are beyond it, but you have questions. We can feel them. Ask. We were scholars, priests and priestesses. We sought to study the evils of the world so that we could defeat them. Instead, we were consumed. We are beyond help. There is only pain. A dark force erupted from within an innocent whom we had tried to help. It made this island its own, and killed all that it found. A spectral mass lies before you. Not one or two beings, but parts of several. Slaughtered together, then left to rot without care or ritual. Disparate glimpses of pain and horror drift past you like a fever dream. A limb is rent from its socket, accompanied by a hollow, ghostly scream. 
A robed woman crawls away desperately, her face a mask of terror. A sage old dwarf holds his own innards in his hands with bloody bemusement. A ghostly aura rises from the butchered corpses, half-formed impressions of panic, fear and pain. No single voice rises from the cacophony, perhaps thankfully. She screams, and screams, and screams, and never stops the screams. The roots quake, and my bones quiver, and still the screaming. The tree, the tree, the tree, the trees, the girl, and the girl's the tree. And she screams, and screams. This grave marks is old. Whatever name was once carved upon it is no longer legible. This grave marker is old. The Whatever name was once carved it upon it is to no make up the legible. name upon this grave marker.
A vast continent full of... Dark words should not sully those honey lips. All will be well. You have killed. A lot of faith in promised outsiders. What is this faith in them, darling? That is all we need. Something delicious. Where? Close. Watch it. But not for you. For Master.
something delicious. Way. The foul creature greets you with a grotesque parody of a courtly bow in a failed effort to hide the hungry gleam in his eyes. Master awaits you. West of here. Go! Now! He doesn't respond at first. Instead, he steps. Master is master! He wants you to go to him. West of here. He barely seems to notice your repeated question at first. His eyes are dark pools in which your reflection is drowning. You are so delicious. Please, go west. My master awaits. A servant. A loyal servant. He wrings his hands as he answers you. Wrings them bloody. Loyal and hungry. Go now. Save your questions from master. Spare me your presence. He shoves his gnarled fist to his maw and bites down on his knuckles. His response reaches your ears as a muffled plea. A loyal servant. Loyal servant. I have no more answers. Master awaits you to the west. To the west! The being lurches forward once more. Mid-stride, he catches himself and transforms the movement into a servile bow. Sweet sir, handsome sir, seek out our master, he wants you. Wants you. She gives you a coy little smile. Her mouth is crowded with dozens of tiny, sharp teeth. Shreds of rotten flesh are lodged between them. The hulking brute recoils slightly from you and gestures towards deeper in the island. My master has use for him. Make haste, if you please. Rubbish. What's that smell? Something delicious. Way. Close. Watch it. But not for you. For Master.
What's that smell? Something delicious. Where? Close. Watch it. But not for you, for Master. Sweet thing, succulent thing. We are so pleased to see you, but not as pleased as him. You look into her eyes and see screams. You hear her gaze upon your body and taste her carnal, violent lust, metallic and sharp as a blade in your mouth. Go, speak to the advocate. Make him happy, bring him pleasure. The advocate has us skipping stones. Shh. Dark words should not sully those honey men. All will be well. You have <clears throat> kill <clears throat> a lot of your attention is appreciated, sir, but misplaced. You <clears throat> kill! Kill the bastard! Wear his skin! Dance in his hands! The elf's face, twisted in a grotesque rage, slowly calms. I beg your pardon. You need to speak to the advocate, the lizard by the table. He is waiting. The hulking warrior's eyes dart about in panic, but his voice is loud and strong, even if it does not quite match the movement of his lips. You! You have been summoned. Go do your duty, now! How can I tell if he's to be trusted? <laughs> you don't need me to tell you that. True. I'm in deep, deep. You want to buy something or not? The tree is surrounded, and the advocate has no. us skipping stones. Shh. Dark words should not sully those honey lips. All will be well. You! You are here to work! Are you also here to trade? I have much to show. I trade, you have coin. I have wares, nothing else matters. If you like your nose, then do not stick it where it's not welcome. We are where we are meant to be. We will be told when we are meant to be somewhere else. <laughs> your friend wanted a new deal. Wanted to renegotiate terms. We have a wager. 
Some say she succeeds. Some say not. What say you? Good. Tell me, how do you bet? For the Half-Blood or against? She made a deal with our master, but her reward, her obligation, strictly confidential. But the advocate is quick to remind her, the master does not make deals lightly. The master does not break them. Ah, very well. Look, do not touch. Not until you fatten my purse. See you again, perhaps. That is all we need. Not here for you, mortal. Stay out of my way. I relish the scenery and the lack of company. As you reach down, the hound's flesh twists, forming sharp, jagged spikes. Maybe not. Tree, 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 tree. Gotta get back. Gotta go. Can't let it out. Can't let them know. Ah, there you are, and with just the little demonic host I've been looking for. You don't mind if I have a word with Maslosa, do you? I was just curious about the progress of your little hunt. I met your old buddy, Jahan, if that's what you mean. I don't have buddies. I have associates. So, did he help you with the, uh, <clears throat> matter at hand? He's putting me through my paces. I have a few more hoops to jump through before he'll help me. Nothing in life is free, I suppose. Make sure you do jump them, though, sir. You won't be sorry. Oh, it's you. 
I'm a demon, not a poodle. None of yours. Thank you. Bye-bye. Her eyes suddenly flash with fury, then fade back to normal. We'll discuss this later. Now, if you'll excuse me. She pointedly ignores you. You're embarrassing me in front of the other agents of evil. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> 